Having surgery is a big moment in your life. By preparing for it with support from your healthcare team, you can reduce your risk of complications. Fitter patients who are able to improve their health and activity levels recover from surgery more quickly. Start today to make a real difference to your recovery and long-term health. Many healthcare professionals work together to make your operation and recovery go smoothly. But it all starts with you. Your GP and nurses at the surgery will organise your care and give you support. From when you first think you may need surgery, right through until you've fully recovered. Surgeons, ward doctors, anaesthetists, pharmacists, physiotherapists and many others all need to work together with you for a successful outcome. There are a number of changes you can make yourself now, which can improve your health ahead of surgery and beyond. Consider how much you smoke, drink, your diet, your weight, and how much exercise you do. Stopping smoking is hard. The good news is that quitting or cutting down now can reduce chest infections, help your wounds heal quicker, and shorten your hospital stay. Your heart and lungs have to work harder after an operation to help the body to heal. To do this, try to do any activity which makes you feel out of breath at least three times per week. Start slowly and stay within your limits. Alcohol can have many effects on the body. Importantly, it can make the liver less able to make the building blocks your body needs for healing. If you drink regularly, you should make sure you're drinking within the recommended limits or lower. Your body needs to repair after surgery. Eating a healthy diet before and after your surgery can really help. If you have obesity, losing weight can help you reduce the stress on your heart and lungs and reduce complications such as blood clots and wound infections. Together, these lifestyle changes can make a big difference to your recovery, but also your future health. It is important to control known medical conditions as well as possible before surgery. Diabetes. Good control of your blood sugar is important to reduce your risk of infections after surgery. Blood pressure should be controlled to safe levels to reduce your risk of stroke. Operations may be delayed if it's too high. Anemia. If you think you might be anemic, talk to your GP about testing. Early treatment can make you feel less tired and may stop you needing a blood transfusion. Heart, lung and other medical problems. Consider asking your GP or nurse for a review of your medications. You can also just book in for a general health check at your surgery if you're between 40 and 74 years old. Anxiety and mental health. It is normal to be anxious about having surgery. Relaxation, mindfulness and breathing exercises can all help. Your GP surgery can let you know about all the support in your area. Dental health. If you have loose teeth or crowns, a visit to the dentist may reduce the risk of damage to your teeth during an operation. We know that coming into hospital for surgery can be a worrying time. Taking an active role in planning and preparing for your operation will help you feel in control. How will I pass the time at the hospital? Listening to music on headphones. Reading a book or doing puzzles can help you relax and time will seem to pass quicker. It is normal to be very tired after an operation. If you plan ahead, you'll be able to rest and heal better when you get home. Consider if you have enough food and healthy snacks for when you get home. 
It's better to organise childcare and care for pets early so you can relax. Don't forget to take enough medication to last you. You should take your usual medication with you in its original packaging. Remember, the temperature can vary, so take your pyjamas and slippers, but also something warm. Before going to hospital, you should have a shower or bath to clean your skin and reduce the risk of infection. Think of all the other things you need to do to put your mind at rest when you go into hospital. Talk to family, friends and your neighbours about going into hospital. They can all help you prepare and support you when you return home. The healthcare team at the hospital will discuss your surgery, anaesthetic and recovery period. They will discuss your risks from surgery and your anaesthetic as well as any choices you have. It can be helpful to write down your questions so you don't forget to ask any. What time do I need to stop eating and drinking before surgery? What medication should I take on the day of my surgery? How long before I can drive again? Are there any do's and don'ts? How long do I need to take off work? Before you go home, your nurse will give you information about what to expect during your recovery. Details of exercises to do to help you recover and avoid blood clots. A sick note, fit note for your employer. How to manage pain, when to take your medication. How to look after your wound and dressings, when you can bathe, if and when your stitches need removing. This will also include any do's and don'ts, anything to look out for, and a number to call if you're worried. It's normal for some days to go better than others. Recovering from surgery may take many weeks. Keep a recovery diary which you can continue after you go home. This will help show you how your recovery is progressing. Give yourself some goals each day. Try and get into a routine and get up in the morning at your regular time. Keep as active as you can and do exercises you're given to speed up your recovery. Visits and phone calls can cheer you up and encourage you to reach your goals. Be careful though that you don't tire yourself out from too many visitors. Let them know the best way to help you. You too can recover quickly from your surgery and make some lasting changes. The earlier you start, the better.